よーほーヘイスコンキーチーズアティショーマーユーゴインとシーメンストリップゲイーイズアティティビーインユーゲイマイガッブラーゲッシュオンハウマッチゲッシュでダイプスゲンサクステイクよ、ベイリングス、Welcome to the official Rank 1 Sword Guide. I had a lot of requests to make this Sword Guide, so here it is. I'm gonna be going over every single Sword Tech, including Phantom Strikes, Emote Cancels, and Super Dashes. Check me out at twitch.tv forward slash vein786. I play Sword Rank solo every day in the finals and would appreciate if you guys follow. Let's begin. So I'll start firstly by showing you the basic combos just to do a recap. The combo for medium is gonna be a double lunge. Another combo for medium is lunge and then left click quick melee. The combo for light is going to be a lunge with a quick melee. The combo for heavy is going to be lunge, quick melee, lunge, quick melee. Another combo for the heavy is going to be lunge, lunge and then left click. Okay, now that I've shown you the combos, I'm going to show you the combos with emote cancelling. So here's an emote cancel kill on a medium. Instant kill. And I'll show you again, an emote cancel kill on a medium. To do this, you're going to want to copy my binds. So go to your settings, go to your mouse and keyboard, scroll down to expression. And then once you're at your expression, I've set mine to the mouse 4 on my... Mouse, which is the mouse side button, or you can just set it to something that's convenient for you, like B. I set it to my mouse side button because it's really close to my hand, and, I, and then I can instantly emote cancel. Another thing you're going to want to do is not use a gesture for your emote, but use a sound because the gestures are buggy and it'll mess up your emote cancel. If you don't know how to get a sound emote, I'll show you now. So you want to click on contestants, click on your loadout, and then edit. Go to expressions, go to sounds, and then I've used Kasnap. Equip it to wheel and then choose the slot you want to equip it to. And that's how you use a sound gesture. Okay, so once you have your sound gesture bound and you've done your mouse key bind for expression key, what you want to do is lunge, expression, and then lunge. And if you do it correctly, you'll animation cancel your lunge. What you want to be careful of though is that you don't emote cancel your lunge too quickly because if you emote cancel too quickly it's going to cancel your lunge and I'll show you what that looks like. So as you can see if you do it too quickly you're going to end up missing and it's going to grief you. So again the combo is lunge expression and then lunge. Now if you're struggling to do the expression key and the wheel keeps popping up, what I would suggest, to suggest is do not move your mouse as you press the expression key, otherwise it's going to bring up the wheel. Alternatively, you can just double tap the expression key and that will stop the wheel from popping up. And just like that, you've learned to emote cancel. Now I'll show you what the emote cancel combos look like on every on every enemy. That was a heavy kill. That was 420 damage in maybe a second with emote cancels. Yeah, as you can see, if you emote cancel, you're pretty much doing twice as much damage as everyone else. And this is combining emote cancels with super dash. Instant killing mediums from really far if you master it. So now I'll teach you how to super dash. The way to super dash is you want to lunge and then dash. 
and you just learn the timing. It's lunge, then dash. That's a super dash. And I recommend you look slightly upwards when you super dash, so you can go slightly higher, and you'll be able to keep your momentum more. So that's how you super dash. Now I'm going to show you guys some hidden tech, which is called a phantom strike. Basically, it's going to let you hit three times with only two lunges. You're going to be able to use this phantom strike tech to one-shot heavies, and this is what it looks like. So that's a phantom strike, and I'll show you again. Boom, one-shotting a heavy with this combo. So the way you want to do this is you want to lunge, and then right as the hit marker pops up, you're going to left click and then immediately hold down lunge again. Now, you have to practice this a lot because the timing is really hot, but the best thing I can say is it's roughly as you get the hit marker or just after is when you would left click and then hold down lunge again immediately. So, lunge, left click, lunge. And this is what it looks like with a super dash. So you're able to one shot heavies from really far with the phantom strike. So this is the loadout I use. I use Dash, Sword, Flashbang, Frag, and Vanishing Bomb. And I'm not going to go into too much detail, just know that this, in my opinion, is the best overall loadout. But what you could do, if you wanted, is use, instead of Flashbang, use Stun Gun. And Stun Gun is good for delaying cash outs, but besides that, it's kind of pointless because you never really need to disable heavies, unless you want to maybe support your team. But if you want to go purely for kills and survivability and just being able to outplay and 1v3 then I would keep flashbang and then frag grenade frag grenade is a must have because it allows you to basically one shot mediums if you hit them with a frag and then you lunge them one time they die and vanishing bomb gives you more survivability and it's just best to use vanishing bomb either walking into a fight or right after you lunge and kill someone vanishing bomb and then reposition and get ready to kill another enemy and another thing I forgot to mention is that even if you miss your lunge with a sword, even if you miss the initial swing, as long as you turn around, the hitbox of the sword still lingers. So if you miss and then you uh, turn around the sword while in the lunge animation, you can still hit the enemy. And another thing you want to be doing while using the sword is kind of having a dancing movement placed out when, while you're lunging. So while you're charging up the lunge, what you want to be doing is crouching and uncrouching just so it makes you harder to shoot and hit. And you also want to be dashing behind the enemies as much as you can into their blind spot, which makes you hard to hit. So just while you're fighting, re remember to dash and remember to crouch. Okay, so I'm going to be going through this clip of my gameplay with you and there's going to be a lot going on but what I want you to pay attention to is how I constantly emote cancel. After every single lunge, I'm going to emote cancel. I engage with vanishing bomb. Lunge, emote cancel, lunge. Lunge, emote cancel, lunge. And again. with a super dash bounce a nade off the floor lunge, blow him up, dash away and I'm spamming emote cancel and I'm out damaging two healing beams two healing beams I'm out damaging while spamming emote cancel with a lunge and I'm gonna just play that again for you At 7 kills in 30, 40 seconds. Bounce nade, lunch, dash away. INSANE DPS! So yeah, that was 7 kills and I 
And I, with emote cancelling, I'm able to out damage two healing beams. It's GG. Sword is S plus tier. So that's the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed, please go to twitch.tv forward slash vein786 and just hit me with a follow, little bro. Also, like and sub. And uh, let me know if this guide helped or if you guys want another guide. Maybe you want some tips and tricks of the sort. But just watch me live and ask whatever you need to ask and I'll help you out. So yeah, thanks for watching.